Now let us understand the workflow of Docker. For example, if we have a developer who creates the Docker file in which she mentions all the dependencies and how to construct an image, then this Docker file is used by the Docker engine in order to create the Docker image of that application along with the dependencies. Now, this image can either be pushed to the Docker hub or it can be used on the local machine. For example, the Docker hub is just like GitHub where we can store all the repositories of the images. There are again public and private repositories. Docker hub is free to use if we want to just use public repositories and it is available to anyone. Whereas in order to use private repositories, it charges something. Well, so we can push the images to Docker Hub and make it available for everyone. Or we can also run that image on our machine locally. So as to test uh, about the working of the image before we give it to everyone, right? So after we push the Docker image to Docker Hub, since it is publicly available to everyone, either the people of testing or the people of staging can pull the Docker Hub Docker image from the Docker Hub. So after pulling the image, they can just run the image to form the container again. And this provides a seamless working of the application. So let us summarize the Docker workflow. Developer creates Docker file. Docker file adds as a recipe guiding how to create the Docker image, specifies about the requirements or dependencies, describes steps to create Docker image, etc. The Docker image is created based on the instructions in the Docker file. The image can either be run on the same machine to create the container or be pushed onto the Docker Hub. Docker Hub is a hub of images to or from which the images could be pushed or pulled and run those images on the machine in which Docker is installed to create containers. Containers are the running instances of the Docker image. Running container means running application flawlessly with all the dependencies.